I, I, I'm a faith guy. I, I, I think God opened this opportunity for me. It was this statement that made me think, I bet this guy has quite the story. And after talking to Seattle Storm coach Dan Hughes Moore, found it's definitely one worth sharing. You may think you know the plan, but in reality, you better be on good ground to react to the plan. A few fast facts about Coach Hughes. He spent 16 years coaching in the WNBA. He's the only coach in WNBA history to take three different franchises to the playoffs. And three years ago, he announced his retirement, never having won a championship. So what's a retiree now doing in the WNBA finals? Uh, listening to life. All of a sudden, when, when Seattle kind of came onto our our scope and looking at the opportunity, I even turned to my wife. I looked at her, her first words to me were, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. What was it about this that your wife says, yeah, you have to do this? Like, did you know what your role could be or was it more just a feeling or both? It was about the people and it was more about the players and knowing, knowing them on, on whatever level I knew them and thinking this is a good fit. Coach Hughes acknowledges the storm was already on the verge before he came along, but the players say he's made a difference. It does help when a coach can, can kind of maybe put you in a game for a couple minutes, not take you out after your first mistake, and, and Dan did that. He allowed people to, to kind of figure out who they were within our system and then just be that. Um, so you have to give him credit for that for sure. Dan and I are really close. Um, you know, he's, he has so much trust in us, and that's something that's super unique. When you have a coach who supports you and has full confidence in you, that helps you um, tremendously. And um, the way he al allows us to kind of go back and forth in different schemes, you know, if Sue has something like, hey, like, let's do this, he's so open to having us um, kind of coach ourselves in a sense. Why wouldn't I empower some of those minds? If I'm a good coach, a good leader, I'm empowering them. How does your faith impact the way you coach? Um, People motivate in all kinds of ways, you know. Now I can make hard decisions and I can do that, but I, I don't think I ever motivated by fear. I, I motivate more by love. And so as his team eyes a championship, he can't help but wonder about the bigger picture. My mother's health has, has, has had a hit this year, so she's in a rest home, okay. I can hear in her voice every day I call to talk about the game, so maybe, maybe there's even a reason there because she, when we win I, I that day's better for her I thank God he gave me a chance for this extra period because I was fine where I was but boy I would have missed I would have missed a lot a lot of joy that being a part and watching this group grow and still driving for the ultimate ultimate reason we we do what we do